Can you talk a little bit, just changing subjects, about Singularity University, um, how you became involved with them, um, and also uh, why is it important to be a B Corporation? I think a lot of Silicon Valley entrepreneurs probably don't know a lot about B Corps. Right. Yeah. Singularity University was founded by Peter Diamandis and Ray Kurzweil. Um, they saw that technology is advancing exponentially in many fields, uh, everything from artificial intelligence, computing, robotics, nanotechnology, medicine. I mean, there are many fields advancing exponentially. And because of these, ex these exponential advances and the convergence of technologies, we have a chance to solve big problems. We have to ch we literally, we have the chance to solve the problems of humanity. Everything from hunger, disease, um, uh, you know, uh, poverty, the, all, uh, you know, lack of clean water, education, we can solve these problems. So they formed this institution about four or five years ago to educate a small set of people on these technologies who could go back and seed the ideas in the rest of the world. This is not a traditional degree granting program. It is not yeah. uh, even a university. Right. It's uh, it, maybe the best way to describe Singularity is as a think tank and an executive education institute. Oh, yeah. So we bring in 80 people at a time. And uh, those people tend to be you know, the best of class. Now you can get, get into an executive program quite easily. The, uh, the, um, the 10 week program that we run in summer, that's the, uh, the main event, where we select from a pool of, of thousands. We look for people who have proven themselves in, in any one domain, so that they, and, and who are motivated to do good for the world. And we admit them. And we teach them about all these advances. We, and, and our faculty, I tell you, every time I go there, I, 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 it's like, wow, we. I mean, um, you know, I learn from these amazing people. We have leading astronauts, we have scientists, we have engineers, we have leading thinkers, we have the CEOs of, of big companies, we have musicians, artists, all these people who come and teach and, and who are part of our faculty. So it's the best of the best, and I, I feel blessed to be able to go there and interact with these people. So we have these people now in, uh, teaching these students. So this goes on for three or four or five weeks, and then we say, okay, your mission is now to come up with ideas for, for companies or products that could impact a billion people within 10 years. So they start forming groups. They have no idea of the field that they're getting into. So for example, this summer, one team decided that it would uh, come up with a new way of 3D printing meat. They met some uh, scientists from NASA. We were on, we're on NASA, uh, Singularity University is on the NASA campus. That's convenient. That must be inspiring in and <laughs> of itself. It is. Yeah. I mean, this is why I feel blessed to be able to go over there. So they met the scientists from NASA who had come up with a new way of, of uh, uh, you know, 3D printing meat. That's a short way of discussing it. And they're now developing a technique which they believe within five years or so, uh, it may take 10 years, but they're saying five years, they'll be able to artificially produce meat for the less than the cost of killing animals. That's one example. Uh, another company, uh, uh, another startup, um, we had a Greek um, uh, PhD researcher. Uh, she was a specialist in, in, in RNA. She was part of the group working with some engineers and some other people. And they realized that they could now detect 17 types of cancer very easily by analyzing, uh, by, uh, by analyzing the microRNA. So they essentially built a simple scaffold. They've actually proven that the technology works. They take a, a photo with an iPhone camera, upload it to the cloud, run the analysis over there. They believe that with $30 or $40, they'll be able to detect hundreds of diseases. Okay. <laughs> another, <laughs> another startup realized that uh, drone technology has dropped so much in price that we can now start delivering uh, uh, goods via drone. So in, in Africa, um, the roads get washed out. In many parts of the world, traffic is a mess. Imagine being able to do drone to drone delivery. So setting up an internet of sorts where you go from point A to point B to point C, and they've already tested this network, and it works very well. So drone-based mm -hmm. delivery. I mean, I can go so on and on and on. <laughs> Literally dozens of startups coming out of there with big visions of changing the world. Now, in what way is Singularity University linked to this idea of, like, quote unquote, the singularity? Like, you know, some point in which artificial intelligence yeah. overtakes Kimberly, the biological variety. I hope, that, I hope that Ray Kurzweil doesn't watch this. Because, <laughs> 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 because we don't even talk about the singularity. Uh oh. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so it's, it's not a university, and we don't talk about the singularity. Other than that, it's a great place. <laughs> we focus more on the next 10 to 15 years. I have no idea what's going to happen 30 or 40 years from now. Ray is the greatest futurist of our, of our time. I respect him, but I'm not sure what's going to happen in that time frame. He believes it will. I, I don't know. Is it but something we don't teach, we don't worry about. We worry about the interim. 
what, uh, the, how technology is advancing and how we have an opportunity to do good for the world and solve mankind's problems. Is it um, inspired in any way, though, by this idea of technology becoming sort of recursive and improving upon itself, even if that doesn't mean that yeah. computers overtake mankind? Exactly. But does the university work with singularity like as a metaphor and even if no we no? don't i hate to say but we don't even talk about the singularity <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we talk about exponential technologies it's all 10 to the 9 exponential technologies all about convergence all about uh, cross discipline taking the learnings from um, you know for example um, my my iphone case is also an ekg monitor it's simply you touch the two leads on it and it, it does an ekg for you if you launch an app that's a convergence of sensors of computing and networks, right? So when you put these different technologies together, you have yeah. a health revolution. So you can start putting different technologies together in many fields. When you do that, you get magic. And this is why we bring people in from different fields, get mm -hmm. them together, and we teach that when convergence happens, that's when you can solve big problems and create the next billion dollar industries, the next trillion dollar industries. That's what we teach, we inspire. 